Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel TechnoDev with Saurabh. Today we are going to see how to schedule the workflow of the glue by using the step function. So you can see my screen, the flow chart which I am trying to create today in this demo. So first we have the two job, one is crawler job, second one is glue ETL job and this both job we are executing by the step function so our step function first execute the glue crawler job once glue crawler job succeeded then it uh, run the second one glue etl job so when the first job crawler is running so it check the status of the glue crawler job if the job is still in running stage then my step function comes to wait and once glue crawler job is, uh, status changes from running to some other status it means it completed so then our glue etl job will start it and once our glue etl job succeeded then our event bridge pattern trigger and it execute the sns notification service of aws and that service notify the by sending the mail so i just show you the glue job which we are uh, scheduled by the step function so i have created already two jobs so one is the crawler job so this crawler job is executing and uh, i show you the this path so this crawler job take the data source from the s3 bucket and if you go to this folder i already created lots of video on crawler and also on the glue you can see how to create the glue job but now i can so show you the brief what i already created here so this uh, glue job crawler job crawl this folder ms glue project 4 so when you come inside this folder you can see uh, there is a folder inside this bucket my glue project 4 so there is a folder input inside that product and i have uploaded the file product data dot csv so we just give the path till product into this crawler so my crawler runs and create the product table in the data catalog so this is the one job and second one is etl job i show you what that job is so this job i name my glue job and when i go to my glue job you can see uh, inside this job i create the dynamic frame by using the catalog and by using the product table so it dependent on the product table and a schema is default database is default and uh, when my crawler job completed it would create the product table in the default catalog and um, then my etl job execute after crawler and it pick this product table and create the dynamic frame so while creating dynamic frame i again read this dynamic frame and convert it into the format json format and store into this folder output folder in my glue project 4 bucket in this bucket output folder so then this output folder output would generate so i'm not going to the detail of how i create the etl job because i already created a video on that so our main purpose just to show how we can uh, schedule this etl job using the step functions and how can we use the event bridge based on the pattern if our glue etl job succeeded so my uh, pattern just send notification use the notification service and send mail to me so now go to the step function window you can search here also in the service and click on the step function and once you come to the step function just get started from here Mm, just click again on the state function leave this page yeah this page so now we click on the create state machine so there is a design your workflow visually so it's a easy way to create the workflow 
so just go to next now you can see the start and end and drag first state here so it's uh, something uh, you know the geo is very large zoom so i try to zoom in so there is your option zoom out zoom in so you can just arrange by using both first we drag the crawler job here so search glue uh, crawler so there is your you can see on the screen in the left hand side the aws glue crawler have the option like a start crawler so this is the action actually which uh, this is staff function workflow show so whatever the job we want to run like etl job and any function we can select from here so uh, that is uh, we are uh, we want to run the crawler job so just select the start crawler and we give the name here of the crawler job so my crawler job name is my crawler so i selected this name and pass here so in api parameter i give the name of the crawler job and in the second option i need to select what the output of this crawler once i started this crawler job so what would be the output of this crawler job i want to select here so i can select here uh, get crawler so this get crawler return the output so then i just do next and so it create the workflow diagram for you can see the workflow diagram as well this is the name of the job my crawler which i already passed in the argument and uh, after this uh, start crawler crawler the second one is run get crawler which uh, just uh, display the output of this my crawler job so now i go to next and uh, we try to and uh, there is a option like create new role so we need to give the staff function to permission to execute the job so by default uh, aws create for us the role but i already executed earlier so i have already the role created but if you are executing the first time so you need to select the role so i already have the role my staff function so i selected here and there is a option you can on and off the logging so we can just off the logging and create the stat machine so one more important part is this role if you go to this role i open this iam role so you should aware like uh, we need to assign the permission to execute the glue job so for that we need to attach the policy and what policy we need to attach aws glue service role if you are executing uh, lambda function by using your staff function so you need to execute lambda invoke policy all this kind of things so but uh, whatever you staff function created by your uh, whatever i am role created by your staff function makes your there is a w glue service role should be attached now come back to this screen and we can see our staff function created successfully and now we just uh, action and uh, there is a start execution option in the right hand side so we just start execution and start execution start so let's see our so it give the not found exception glue entity not found exception so you can see the output here and uh, in the 10th option our job is failed crawler entry will name my data does not exist because this error exception come because i didn't give the correct name to get crawler job so how can we correct it go to the edit state machine so once you go to edit state machine again this window open right 
and you can see the parameter here i pass the parameter name my crawler for the start crawler job but in case of get crawler i didn't pass the name correct i pass my data my data kind of job not exist anywhere so we need to pass my crawler here also and we can also see if you are confusing here so there is a option of workflow studio in our right side so i click again on workflow studio so it open the diagrammatically so you can see here so i click on start craw crawler and i give the api parameter name my crawler right but now if i come to get crawler so in get crawler there is a name my data so it's a wrong because my data is not exist i need to pass the crawler name here also so what is my crawler name i again pass here so my crawler name is my crawler right so i just pass here my crawler right and now come to apply and exit and you can see in uh, json format also now the parameter name my crawler has changed it's a get crawler right and uh, come to the save right and now we just start execution again to our state machine so just start again so we click on start execution and uh, click again start execution so now this job you can see succeeded what it does it execute the start crawler so my this crawler job when you refresh so it is on running stage so currently it's running right and after this uh, get crawler run and get crawler crawler just print the status of this crawler job what what the status of the crawler job so if i click on the get crawler right in the left uh, right hand side there is a option input output so the input is just it uh, uh, fetch the whatever this start crawler job run and output just it print the status of the get crawler means what the status of this start crawler so if i see i copy this output just copy and print into the notepad plus plus so you can see the exact output uh, i converted into the json format so you can see this crawler right this is the get crawler output and in this output uh, it print the database name default name right and it give the status succeeded that is fine and my crawler and but it state is running so this my crawler job run succeeded means my crawler job uh, run successfully but the state uh, is still running so currently is in running state so this get crawler means it give the output of this crawler job and what the output it show the job is in running state so now our purpose is we need to run the etl job this is the crawler job we need to run this etl job and etl job is run only when this crawler job is succeeded so what we need to do we need to apply the choice we need to apply the filter so again go to the edit state machine and there is a workflow studio which should drive diagrammatically so we can change easily otherwise we can also change to the json so we can go to the flow here and there is a option choice choice means whatever if and then logic if and else logic we want to apply here so i just put choice so what is the choice here see it provide the rule if and else condition so in the right hand side if you go to the configuration of this choice flow this is the flow part of step machine so we can apply the if else logic so i click on this right and there is a option of add condition or rule one so i can i click on add condition so this is the variable dollar dot state input dot key so my dollar and what my state input crawler right 
dollar dot crawler dot and in crawler there is a variable state which we are checking which we are trying to check here so dollar dot crawler dot state and operator is is equal to and value is a string constant and the value what we need to pass here running so if it is a running then it wait so we just save the conditions right and we need to use here wait right and we just put wait here right so what happen actually so in the choice we put the condition like if this crawler is running so we need to wait how much wait by default it show 5 second you can increase decrease according to your requirement so we just keep here 5 second and next state is not end whatever next state it again go to the get crawler so it is in the loop when till its job state of change from running to succeeded it flow into the loop it check okay it is in a running state again wait a running state again wait so in the next state we need to pass here get crawler right so see our start crawler run the job get crawler print the output of the start crawler like job is still running and then we use the condition choice which check if job is uh, running then you need to wait and for five seconds then again check if job is again running so it is in the loop and once the job state of change from running to completed successfully so it halt this loop and come to second one so i just zoom in uh, so zoom out so that you can see the uh, picture clearly now in second drop state here what we need to pass we need to pass the glue job glue etl job right so once crawler job succeeded so my choice button halt and it go to the second branch means the right hand branch and executed etl job so glue start job run so we just put here start job run here so here we need to put the job name what is our job name uh, what is our etl job name so i just copy i forget the job name yeah my glue job so this is the etl job and i pass the etl job name here So it's look fine and then it go to end successfully. All right. So apply and exit. And we can save here. Job successfully saved and we can start execution and start execution so you can see this choice comes and uh, here below is task also succeeded so first task is first one this is for start crawler you can see here event and the second one is check get crawler which print the output of the start crawler right and it give like it is in running stage state running now come to the in the event logs come below and then in the row number 19 it again check get crawler so till wait five seconds get crawler run again and again till our first crawler job executed successfully if it's showing the state of running so get crawler running again and again right then it get crawler will run so like this uh, logs are working and you can see the job is executed successfully right so you can see here also uh, etl job 
and I click on ETL job in the running status. So currently it's running, right? So my first one is uh, choice. So once crawler succeeded, so the choice come to the glue start job run. So it is started the job and not come to the end. So currently it is started the job. So job is my running stage. So this ETL job is my running stage, right? And one more thing I want to show like the output of the crawler. Actually this crawler create the table in this default database. Once when you uh, creating the crawler, you have the option to take any database name to give any database name and this database name you can also find in your Athena and this table also you can see data in the Athena. So this product table created by the crawler and second one is uh, ETL job. So this job actually uh, let's see it's completed or not. I refresh it and uh, just come down, come down. Uh, execution succeeded mm, in the line. So it run the start job, uh, ETL job. And then it uh, succeeded here. Right. So our uh, ETL job purpose is just uh, to create the output here in the JSON format. So for today date, like today is eight. So you can see for today date, this output we can see here. It is in the JSON format. I download here. Just show you like uh, you can relate these things. So the JSON, I click on JSON. See, this is the output it created, All right? So that is the flow which I executed by the step function, right? So next is we need to implement uh, SNS service notification service. So once my ETL job succeeded, the second glue ETL job. So the event bridge check the pattern, you match the pattern. And if uh, it's pattern match with the message succeeded message for this glue ETL job, it uh, trigger the notification service. So first we need to create the SNS. So go to SNS and uh, we need to configure SNS and by putting our mail. So there is already one topic created. I delete it. We will create new in front of you. So, okay, now go to Amazon. Uh, I give the topic name again my topic you can give any name so topic is a message channel when you publish message to topic it fans out the message to all subscribe end point and in my topic just i create topic here after creating topic we need to create the subscription so go to create subscription here the protocol i use the email here and I pass my mail ID. So I pass my mail mail ID here and create the subscription. So this subscription when I created here, right? So it is status showing pending confirmation. So we need to confirm confirm this. Uh, mail uh, this SNS protocol by opening our mail and we need to confirm from our mail. So I, I open my Gmail in front of you and uh, if it is not showing on the inbox might be it go to the spam. Okay, I will go to spam. Yeah, so I can see in the spam AWS notification subscription confirmation. So here is your option confirm subscription. I click on this confirm subscription and my mail id which i configure in the sns it subscription confirmed so now i send notification to my mail id right so go to the again to the sns okay i yeah so now i refresh it again 
let's see the status yeah now status is show confirmed so when we by our event pattern when we execute this sns yeah trigger this sns it uh, send ma mail to the saurabh.garg at the rate uh, gmail.com so now come to the event and uh, go to event and we open the amazon event bridge and here we create the rule simply and in the event bridge we pass the rule name my rule name i give the name my rule name and there is a option rule with event pattern or schedule we don't want to schedule the job based on the cron expression we want to schedule the job based on the event pattern so just go to next and uh, here if you go to the down there is a sample event we don't need to uh, touch it because it's uh, optional and come down come down and there is a option use pattern form custom pattern in use pattern form you can select the services and give the services from here and uh, just uh, predefined pattern but we have the custom pattern so i click on the custom pattern and i can provide you also on the description so this pattern we will use i already copied so we can save some time and in this you can see this is the json key value pair and in this actually i checking my state succeeded for which job my glue job so this is the job name whatever etl job you created so you give the job name so my second job which is etl if it is state succeeded so Uh, that uh, event uh, should trigger the sns notification service so go to the next and there is a aws service which i need to select and we can select a target here and we can select sns as simple as sns topic now we go to the sns topic and there is a topic like my topic which i created and go to the next and go to again next and now create the rule right so i execute again workflow in front of you right and i execute again new execution and start execution so this is start the workflow and once it comes to to the glue start job run and once the job start job run finished and give the succeeded output and my event bridge based on the pattern run the sns service which send mail to me right so now wait for a minute to complete this job So currently, it's running the get crawler job here. So once the crawler job finished, then it uh, current is stopping state. You can see this crawler job is running. Once it finished, then it would run the ETL job. And once ETL job finished, then our notification service will start. Let's wait to complete. so this my crawler job is state ready it means it uh, completed and now our uh, etl job i think should start so this uh, etl job is uh, start so we can go to run and so it also executed succeeded so now we can see yeah our workflow completed and now our this notification service should uh, give the mail to me right so now i open my mail and see i received the mail or not so go to the inbox here mm. now go to the again spam yeah so in the spam i think uh, no so yeah now we receive the notification in the inbox and you can see in aws notification message 
so all the detail is printed here this is all the default detail right and there is your option right you can also if you have any question there is a you can connect with the aws support and if you wish to stop receiving notification so you can click here right and uh, once you click here then you will stop receiving notification from the topic like this i click the subscription removed so i hope you understand this video very well you get answer of your all questions like how we schedule the job if you like this video please subscribe my channel and on the comment box just uh, comment uh, how you feel to see this video thank you for watching this video have a nice day